Okay. So at the 2, at the 4, at the 6, and at the 7. Centimeters. And then you're going to slide your ruler over. And from the same top, from the top, but on the left side or the other side, you're going to make marks at the 2, at the 4, at the 6, and at the 7 again. Why are we right? Why are we making marks on both sides of the paper? Yes, sir. Because we're going to make a straight line. Because two points make a straight line. Can everybody say that? Two points make a straight line. Good. Okay. Now, here is ruler tip. Here's tip number two, to draw an efficient, easy, not chances that you mess up are small, straight line, it's easier to draw the line down like this than to draw it across or to push it. No, we don't want to push it, you want to pull it. So you take your paper and you turn it sideways. I am right-handed, so I've got it completely sideways, so I'm going to go from top to bottom. I'm lining on my ruler, or if you guys who have short rulers, you can use your, um, the cards, the, the, the folder, the, the binder, the, the file folder bit you just did. So you're going to line up your two lines, top and bottom, like this. See how I'm doing that? Kind of. I'll do it at an angle so it shows, but I want you to be Top and bottom, and I'm reaching up to the top, and I'm pulling a line down. So the I've got the my non-dominant hand, in this case my left hand, is holding the ruler down, and my right hand is on the right side of the ruler. Then I'm sliding that over, lining up my two marks, pulling a line down. Slide the ruler, line up the two marks, pull the line down. Slide the ruler. Line up the two marks, pull the line down. Okay, so it should look something like that. Where you Thing is, you are going to cut off just one strip. Cut off one strip, the top one only. So cut off that top strip, the first two centimeter strip, just the top one only. Cut off one strip and wait. Good. Set your cardstock aside. Get out your ruler. We are going to now mark and measure eight centimeters. Make a mark at eight centimeters down your strip, 8 centimeters at 8 centimeters, and you're going to then, you can eyeball it or you can draw a line, whichever you feel comfortable, and you're going to cut that strip at 8 centimeters, and you're going to save both those pieces. Okay, so cut it off at the 8 centimeter mark, 8, so one is 8 centimeters and one is roughly 14, 13, it's about 13 to 14. You want to orient this so that the two second generation bits are closest to the bottom. They're closest to you. Okay? So it's like this. Got it? Okay. Now, you can do this one of two ways. We have to make a leg coming out of here that has a fold that's as tall as this height right here. So we can do this one of two ways. You can measure 
this. It's approximately one centimeter high. So you can either, I'm going to give you a choice. There's the accurate way and there's the slightly quicker, but you can either mark it like at one centimeter and make a mark here and fold it. Or, or you can just use this. You can take your your bit of cardstock and hold it up to the second generation and pinch it over so that that and fold it so that this little it's about one centimeter so this little bit is the same height can you see how that's the same height so you can either measure it the short one the eight centimeter piece So kind of pinch it or measure it. It's about a centimeter. So just so you get this, so it's the same height. No, do not do, do, don't glue anything yet. We still have some more folding to do. So you should have a piece that looks about like this, like an L, right? Everybody got their L? And you can check the height, make sure it's about the same height by backing it up to that fold, okay? Now, if I glue, I could put this there. Could I put glue on here, on this little surface? Will it stick? No. Why not? It's too thin. It's too narrow, too skinny. We need more surface area, right? We need more surface area. So, an easy way to do that. I know this is how high it is. I still need that height. I'm just going to fold it and I'm going to fold it over one more time till I get so I get something that now looks like this. Okay? So you were here, right? You were here. Just press it and fold it one more time and crease it really well. You can use your ruler to crease it well, and then you unfold it, and you have something that looks like a hook. And again, you're making sure, making sure it's the right height. You can measure against that if it's at the same height. Boy, it's hard to show. So that's the same height. Okay, now, now it's happy glue time. So we're taking this, and as our last task of the day, you're going to put a ton of, going to put a fair amount of glue. So we're going to, we want to glue this like this. Whoops, can you see that? We're going to glue, we're going to glue. We're going to do the, the flat end here and the hook down here. Can you see that? Can everybody see that? Right? Got that? So you're going to put glue here. Now you might have to do what's called a contact cement, contact glue. This glue is permanent, so it's better than the purple glue. You might have to, so hold it all straight because you want to make sure that everything is straight. So this is perpendicular when you're gluing it, and this is perpendicular. And you want to press it down, maybe count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can kind of shut this and press it down to make sure it's in the right place and to make sure it's going to stay like that. That's sort of hard to say.